Well, I want her to say that she is going to be really firm on this issue because as we approach the winter, we're expecting that there's more risk of death on the channel and it's absolutely vital that we get to grips with it. She said herself today that the small boat situation is in crisis. It's an absolute mess and we need absolutely to get a firm grip on this. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people are saying we've heard all this before and we've had no action. What's different now? Well, I think in addition to anything that she's going to be announcing today, we need to make sure that this is dealt with at the highest diplomatic levels with France, because at the end of the day, this is organised criminality mm. on French shores, and people are leaving from France. What if the French just say, we don't care? Well, I think that President Macron is absolutely key, and I hope that the Prime Minister takes this up with President Macron when she meets later in the week. Every opportunity she has with President Macron, she's got to raise it. We've got to get this sorted. Well, we'll find out pretty quickly if he is a friend or foe, I suppose, if she raises it. How do you feel about things like people getting in touch all the time, tow the boats back? Well, I think what we've seen is that the measures we've taken so far are not making that difference. We've got to make sure we shut down the route totally, and that means stopping the boats leaving, turning them around in the channel, and making sure we have effective returns. Spent That's all, got to be the focus. Spent all day yesterday talking about a U-turn. I was sick and tired of it. Do you think they'll turn on this? Because there will be public backlash. Amnesty International, who have released a statement on this, dead against it, as you can imagine. Care for Calais, dead against any idea, frankly, of anything strict going on in the channel whatsoever. Well, hang on a minute. Well, if there's public backlash on this from some very loud people. Well, does the government U-turn? All of a sudden, we've got an open border. This is organised criminality through and through. We've got now Albanian gangs. Uh, they want to join the EU. They're a member of NATO. And we've got organised Albanian gangs coming across the channel. This is organised criminality. We've mm. got to be really clear about that. We are very compassionate and we do a lot with refugees around the world. But this is organised criminality mm. and we've got to put a stop to it. And okay. that starts in France. Liz, Liz Truss has alluded to the idea she might want to do deals with other countries other than Rwanda. We've been blocked from Rwanda flights taking off because of our... Well, frankly, the fact that we're at the mercy, some would say, of foreign judges in foreign courts, does that need to stop? We've got to make sure that we are able to do what the British people want, and they want us to stop this illegal immigration. They want us to also save lives in the Channel. You know, in my area of Dover, people want to make sure that we're not putting lives at risk in these small boats, but we've got to remember they are leaving from French shores. It's organised criminality. Mm. It's got to stop, and we've got to make sure we don't put lives at risk this winter. OK, and Liz Truss has spoken a lot about the, the organised criminality element of it. So from what I can gather, from what you're saying, Saying is that we need to get rid of these these criminal gangs. That might even mean doing things like, dare I say it, you know, sending our boys abroad, or sending our SAS over somewhere, finding out where these Albanian gangs are, and and getting rid of them because we're not getting rid of them in Italy anyway, are we? Well, I mean, the Albanian gangs are a great example of why this is such a problem, because they have stepped into what is this open border at the moment, and they are just plying their trade across the channel. Now, what we know is the Albanian police are working in Calais and they're working in Dover. What I want to see is the French take our offer of working alongside them on the beaches and also have a channel-wide security zone, so that wherever people are picked up, they're taken back to France. If that means lobbing a lot more money at the French, would you still do it? Because, to, frankly, we've just been paying for nothing so far. Well, we on agreement after agreement, millions and millions of pounds of taxpayers' money with the French. For and nothing. the bottom line is, it's For their nothing. responsibility. They have responsibilities in relation to organised crime on their soil, same as we do on ours. We wouldn't just turn a blind eye when the city was up to no good. Mm. It's absolutely right that the French take this seriously. So this Friday, when President Macron and the Prime Minister meet, we've got to put this further up the agenda. Do you realise, and I speak to a lot of people here, I'm sure you obviously do as well, of course you do, but I spoke to a lot of people here who are seriously concerned now that Keir Starmer... It might even start to look like the person who could control immigration better than the Conservative Party. It's never a phrase I ever thought I'd say, but goodness gracious me, if whatever Suella Bradman has to say in there doesn't come off and doesn't work, then frankly, we're out of options. It does become a Labour problem, doesn't it? I don't think there's any doubt that Labour are still in favour of open borders. They're still in favour of mass migration. I know that's not what the British people voted for. It's for the Conservative government to deliver on that. That means putting an end to the small boats crisis. It's absolutely dangerous there in the Channel, particularly in the winter. It's organised criminality and it needs to come to an end. But we also need to make sure that we're not soft on immigration, that we make sure that we're delivering on what we said to the British people mm. when we left the EU. Well, it's not just what's going on in the Channel. Quite a lot of people say, well, we need to get our legal immigration system right as well. Pressure on public services, pressure on school places, pressure on the housing crisis, all of this stuff. Are we strong enough when it comes to legal immigration? Do we need fewer legal immigrants as well as illegal immigrants? 
Well, I think Priti Patel, as Home Secretary, did a lot of good work at changing what was a really dysfunctional and rubbish system. But there's much more to do. And I think we'll see under Suella Baravaman a continuation of that strong policy and that organisation. But the bottom line is that I want to make sure that those immigration numbers overall come down. I think we've got plenty of people in our own country who we should be skilling up, training up, and making sure they have the opportunities here in the UK. If we want that growth, we want to make sure that growth and opportunity comes to the British people.